Welcome back guys to the Chem Bio Office tutorials. Probably this is the last tutorial of this series and we'll try to cover as much remaining topics as we can in this one. So today we are going to talk about how to draw these kind of beautiful arrows for the HMBC nosy and cozy relationships. For example, if you want to show all of these in your molecule, how you are going to do that. So before doing that, um, I can also show you the settings with which this molecule is looking so beautiful in this document. The width of the lines and everything. So you can just put these numbers into your document and you can make a similar document. So I'll go to File, Document Settings. And here you can see the drawing settings, the length, bold width, uh, spacing, line width, and margin width. So you can put these numbers into your document settings and you will get similar results. So no need to, to worry about the template, just make your template with these settings. All right, so now we'll learn how to draw these kind of arrows and modify them. So you have seen that there is a pen tool here in ChemDraw and there are two tools one is this free drawing tool I mean you can draw as you move the mouse but the second one with little dots here that is more flexible and um, it offers you much more flexibility to draw the arrow so we'll select this one we can select the color like this all right we can give it color later on so for example we want to show the HMBC correlation of this hydrogen with this carbon what we'll do is just put the uh, mouse pointer here do a click and then move the mouse pointer over here and do another click see you have drawn a line and now if you take your mouse pointer on that line when that plus sign is not on the hand right click and full arrow at the end we also have an arrow now and then how will we rotate it how will we make it according to our need so if you you see that there is a, a blue circle on this arrow here so if you take your mouse pointer on that circle you will see that the plus sign from this hand uh, mouse pointer is disappearing so at this point do a click keep pressing the click and then drag your mouse pointer now you see we we have drawn this um, we have taken out the handles of this arrow so we can modify it as as much as we want so for example if we put it here we leave it and then we take again uh, so this is the middle handle now to pick the arrow and move it so if you bring your mouse pointer on that handle again click and drag it you can lift the arrow and put it on top like this similarly on this side you can also drag the handles out click and you see you can make the arrow look beautiful leave it here the next step is to change the color of the arrow for that we'll select the move tool lasso tool for example the arrow is selected now you can come here to the colors select this color all right and now you see that we have made this arrow with the pen tool now we'll try for a nosy correlation probably again we'll select this pen tool and 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 oh, so maybe we can draw a nosy correlation between this hydrogen and this hydrogen so to do that we'll just click over here so now we can draw a two-point arrow directly or a three-point arrow so there are two possibilities to draw a three-point arrow so the previous one was two-point arrow we clicked one place and we clicked the other place 
three point arrow might have a little more flexibility. So for example, if we click here, and then we click uh, in the middle somewhere, like over here, and the third time we click here. So now we have drawn a three point arrow and we have multiple handles now so for the f for the first one so we, we want to draw another arrow on the other side so we right click it full arrow at end and full arrow at start as well and then you want it dashed so not a full bold line arrow you right click again and say dashed look it is dashed now and then we can pull out the handles and these handles as well and this handle so now we can pick this arrow from here move it over here like this and where is the middle handle here it is we can put it on in the middle somewhere and then this one over here it it be depends how you want it to look like like you can make it as you want it look I can draw it any way I want it is very flexible and beautiful tool all right I think it's it's okay I mean you can do a bit more fun with it as you wish so my purpose is just to tell how how to do it and then you can of course play with it and then see what happens i'll again select the lasso tool and now change the color here there you go you see you can also draw a nosy arrow and similar uh, the cozy ones it, that's just a bold bond I mean that's nothing else you can select this bond I I selected these bonds as bold bonds for example I want to show cozy where 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 over here maybe you can see just you can make the bold bond with this bold bond tool all right and then if you want to write these things you can simply write with the text tool and to make such an arrow you can just take a simple arrow draw it oh, this is a quite big headed arrow I'll select a small one maybe this one and then you can select the pen tool right click on that arrow and make it dashed or full arrow at start so you can draw this just to show as a, a key on the side that there is something else which I want to show you in this last video that is quite cool and important thing in chem draw <laughs> so you see that um, there is a molecular formula how will I get a molecular formula of that big compound I mean I can't sit down and start counting the protons and carbons and oxygen and everything that is insane so there is an automatic way of doing that in ChemBioDraw. I'll show you with a small molecule and you can do that with the big molecule. Here is quite a bit of mess. So I'll just show you with these compounds. For example, I'll make a copy of this compound over here. And then if you select that compound, right click, you have something at the end called analysis. In the analysis you can show its name here you go then again right click analysis you can search chemical formula that's it and then of course you can show its exact mass you can also have its molecular weight and then molecular ion peaks which are expected also elemental analysis so if you click all you will draw all of these um, in the analysis window so you can see that uh, 
CamDraw can also calculate all of these uh, things for us and it's very handy tool um, for especially for drawing molecules and here is a tool to get their fragmentation patterns like you can see which fragment ions are expected for example if we break from here or here and the, you can justify these peaks in the mass spectrum then it is very easy and is there anything else we can do with it probably we can of course rotate it that's what we learned the other day change its color and copy that's it so that was pretty much about chem draw if you have any more question related to chem draw which is uncovered in this video tutorials just uh, flick me a message or um, comment in the comment section and I can always uh, make up a new video with those questions answered so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and this will be beneficial for your studies and good luck with your research work and everything I'll see you guys later in some new tutorials bye bye